Joe Ducard here, and I want to talk about how I structure my nights out for success with women. I asked my Facebook group recently if they had any topics or suggestions for videos, and my buddy Tony asked me about this topic, which was a great question. You know, what's going on in my head? How do I structure my night out? What are my goals? How do I get warmed up? How do I deal with rejection? So I want to cover all of that for you in this video so that you can be in a positive and effective mindset when you're going out to have the best shot for success. So the first step is obviously warming up. So I broke this down into a few different categories. The first step of warming up is to have a good wingman, okay? Do whatever you have to do to make more friends, to meet more wingmen for sure. What I like to do is have somebody who is an interesting person that I would hang out with even if I wasn't going out with, okay? So somebody that between our interactions with women, we could talk about something that's interesting, that's engaging, and maybe even make some jokes and have some humor and good times together just by hanging out. So somebody who's positive, somebody who's fun, they don't necessarily have to be doing a lot of approaches or a lot of gaming or whatever on their own. But if you do have somebody who has a lot of skills and does approaches and is social and is cool and is funny and is a good friend, then that's where you got, that's where you got the home run. <laughs> so if you want to definitely be spending some time investing in finding great and quality wingmen to go out because who you're out with definitely makes a huge difference on your state and how you feel a little thing i like to do recently i started taking hip-hop dance classes so i'll move a little bit to the beat whether i'm just doing some circles or i'm doing a, a side to side step or whatever the heck uh that you could learn on youtube probably even as well um, i'll do a little bit of movement to start to get myself going you know i was telling my buddy last night that when animals actually have a lot of nerves and a lot of adrenaline, they shake. Like you'll see cats, dogs, even animals in the wild, they shake because they're trying to shake off their adrenaline. So if you're trying to stand really still, which I know some dating people advise just to stand super still, I don't like doing that. I personally don't drink. So sometimes I go out, I have a little bit of nerves, a little bit of social anxiety, especially if I've been working a lot during the week. So I like to move a little bit and get myself going and kind of shake out a little bit of the adrenaline that's in my system. Another thing I like to do for warming up is to talk to the people who are closest to me. I don't like to come right in and see the most attractive girl 100 feet away and have to go right up to her and, and, and tell her I'm into her and, and go direct and the whole thing. It's a little too much pressure on myself. So what I like to do, and, I, and I've, I've done that before. I definitely have done that before. I've gone in, I saw a girl that I had to talk to, and I said, ah, fuck it, I'm going to go do it. Anyway, I've definitely done that, but my preferred way of warming up and definitely what I advise to you guys is to go in, Get, go to a place that has, um, go to an area that has a decent amount of traffic and just start talking to the people around you. Make a comment about what they're wearing. Make a comment about maybe their drink or just say hi. Ask them what they're up to. Ask them if you missed anything. You just got there, right? Um, ask them what they're celebrating. Anything. Just start a conversation. Start to get into that social mood. From there, what I like to do is build social momentum. And one of the favorite ways I do that is by finding someone who's cool in the group that I get along with and spending some time talking with them. Okay, so now engaging in an interaction. Also, like I said, which is kind of like uh, the one I'm having with my wingman, which is fun, which is interesting. And having that conversation going back and forth and getting the momentum going. Maybe even meeting new people, um, talking to other people, right? If they leave, talking to some other people. Start to build some momentum. You don't have to knock that home run out and find the girl of your dreams right when you walk in to a venue it's okay to spend some time being social talking around you know there's things like social proof guys used to talk about a lot and being seen having fun and when you're in that good state you have some social momentum it becomes a lot easier to talk to a girl later down the line i've been making this mistake a lot recently and i see guys make the same mistake of they go in and they say okay i only want to talk to some super attractive girl and i'm gonna sit around and wait for her so they stand around they don't talk to their wingman they look real serious and then when that girl comes by they're so out of state and they're not warmed up that the girl walks by and they're just like oh shit like i i, I didn't even do that right so what you want to do is build that social momentum get in a positive state get out of your head right to get extroverted you need to get into a conversation anxiety and nervousness is almost impossible to exist when you're engaged in an activity okay i talk about this in my book i have a whole book written on warming up and uh and rejection and the mindset for approaching awesome book if you haven't read it definitely check it out it's only a few bucks on amazon called fearless approach i'll throw the link to it in the description to this video but 
what you want to do to extrovert to get out of your head is to take action okay when you're standing there and you're thinking then you'll start to ruminate then anxiety and nerves and excuses and all those things can go in so when you're out of your head talking your wing talking to other people that's that is what being in state is it's being extroverted so the quicker you can extrovert the better it's gonna be for you now my mindset on rejection i definitely look at rejection totally different okay it's a big thing that people fear okay a big thing that guys fear is that they're gonna go out talk to a girl she don't want nothing to do with them and i'll tell you what i've been doing this for it's now september september 2018 so it's been 11 years that i've been doing this for now i've been going out and working on this stuff really hardcore so i've been rejected so many times and i'm supposedly i'm a master by now right i teach this stuff for sure but i still get rejected all the time i last night i talked to girls that wanted nothing to do with me and i am totally okay with that because we don't click we don't get along and nothing is going to change that okay maybe they're in a bad mood maybe they're just not a person who meshes with who i am and i'm okay with that you want to polarize people you want to be confident in who you are have things that you're into have things that you're not into and like for me i love a sense of humor i love some wit and i love a good conversation with some depth to it so if someone can't hang with that if they have no sense of humor if all they care about is beer and pizza or tacos or their dog or things like that all those things are fine no problem but if that's the only things that you're into we're probably not going to get along anyway so i have no problem with those people not being interested in me because honestly i'm probably not interested in them either now the girls may look attractive off the bat but you don't know until you talk to them what they're going to be like i met a girl the other night who was very attractive she looked kind of young so in my head i would have thought okay maybe she's just a college girl with not too much going on but she actually had an awesome job had a side job was super deep super intellectual and had a very pleasant conversation so you don't know what you're going to run into so never judge before you do an approach go in there see who's cool if they're cool you're going to get along if they're not cool and you don't mesh then you're not going to get along and rather than look at that as a rejection i look at it more as screening out to see who i'm going to get along with and then more recently and probably the goal for you and just about everybody else is to wind up in an interaction with a girl that you find interesting a girl that you find attractive and a girl that you are getting along with and vibing with once you get into one of those interactions then you could take it wherever you want to go i never push goals on guys whatever your goal is with that interaction that's completely up to you and depending on what your goal is you're going to execute a different game plan and that's an idea for another video and stuff i teach in seminars but the end goal is to find a girl that you're interested in that you're having an interesting and a fun conversation with a good vibe because once you find that then you could take it and go where you want like i said and you may have to approach a lot of girls and you may have to definitely weed through some ones who are boring or basic or whatever not so you find those ones that you really mesh that you really mesh with so rather than thinking of it as rejection just think of it as oh, that's not the girl for me and then moving on to find somebody who ultimately you're getting along with and having a good conversation with so that's how i've been structuring my nights out if you have any other questions on it definitely add it to the comments below and go out have fun with this stuff man i love meeting people in person you know i've used apps i've done all these other things but going out and just having a conversation with somebody in person is beginning to become a lost art so i definitely want to continue that art share it with you help you develop it so any questions or anything i could help with let me know leave in the comments below we'll chat soon